4. The Sun. Part 3 of 3. Philippians chapter 2 verses 10 and 11. That at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth. 11. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Colossians chapter 1 verses 15 through 19. Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? 16. For by him were all things created, that are in heaven, and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones, or dominions, or principalities, or powers, all things were created by him, and for him. 17. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. 18. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. 19. For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. Hebrews chapters 2 verses 9 through 18. But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he by the grace of God should taste death for every man. 10. For it became him, for whom are all things, and by whom are all things, in bringing many sons unto glory, to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. 11. For both he that sanctifieth and they who are sanctified are all of one, for which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren. 12. Saying, I will declare thy name unto my brethren, in the midst of the church will I sing praise unto thee. 13. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, behold I and the children which God hath given me. 14. For Osmach then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is, the devil. 15. And deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. 16. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. 17. Wherefore in all things it behoved him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. 18. For in that he himself hath suffered being tempted, he is able to succour them that are tempted. Hebrews chapter 8 verses 1 and 2. Now of the things, which we have spoken this is the sum, we have such an high priest, who is set on the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens. 2 a minister of the sanctuary, and of the true tabernacle, which the Lord pitched, and not man.